Today we're going to be looking at the 100 square and identifying numbers around it. Hi children, here we have a 100 square. As you can see, in the top left hand corner we've got the number 1 and in the bottom right hand corner we have the number 100. We can easily identify a number by counting in multiples of 10. So here's 10, count with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Next I can think about how I want to identify a number. So I want to look for the number 24. I could count in ones, but that would take me a while. So it's quicker to count in tens, the 10, 20, and then add on the four. You can see here I have the number 24. To the left of the number on 100, we always have, you can see here I have 23. Above it, we always have 10 less. So 24, 10 less, 2 tens, 4, 1 tens, 14. Then to the right, we always have one more. You can see I've got 2 tens and 4 ones. Now I've got 2 tens and 5 ones, 25. And then just below it, usually when we think below, we think takeaway, but on 100 square, we have to add 10. So you can see here, I had 2 tens, and now I've got 3 tens. This pattern happens on any number on the 100 square. So again, we've got 59, 1 less is 58. 10 less would be 49. One more, we know that 9 ones add 1 one would make 10 ones, so the number becomes 60. And then 10 more, the number becomes 69. We can repeat this on this simple scroll here. So have a look at the number. Can you remember what the left digit will be? That's right it will be one less. So the number here is 84. How about above? That's right, the number would be 10 less, so we'd have 75. The number to the right is always one more, so you can see we have 84, 85, so now it would be 86. We can also count down, so we've got 75, 85, 95. And then we can use this to help us figure out the other numbers. So 75 left would be one less, so we have 74. Now we can just count across. 74, 75, 76, 77, and again on the other line. We could always count across going 84, 85, 86, 87, or we could have just added 10 from the 77. And then we now can complete the rest of our 100 square. So from 95, I'm going to go left, which would be 94. And then to the right, 96. And then add one more to the right, 97. Right, who's ready for a challenge? So I've got a tricky one for you now, children. So we're going to start off with the 34. So to the left, remember, we always subtract 1. So that would be 33. Above 34, we always have to subtract 10. So that would be 24. And then to the right, we're adding 1. So that would be 35. Now below, this one is missing. And usually that would mean add 10. You can see below that, there's another square. So that would mean also add 10. So in total, children, we now need to add 20. So we'd have 34, 44, and then 54. Going from 24 to 25, now looking at 33, it's to the left, which we know is subtract 1. So that would be 32. Then below 32, we can add 10, because when we go down, we add 10, which would be 42. To the right, we're just counting up in ones. 42, 43. Then again, below, we always add 10 to so 43, 53. And then to the right, we're counting up in ones. 53, 54, 55. Excellent work, children. You can see here I've generated some more for you. It's up to you how you answer these. You can either draw them out or it's having a go practicing on screen. I suggest you pause, pause the screen now to give yourself the opportunity to go through some of the calculations. Are you able to remember that to the left you have to subtract 1, above you needed to subtract 10, 
to the right you needed to add 1 and then below you needed to add 10. By doing this you can use this pattern to help you find any number on the 100 square. I hope you've had fun. If you enjoyed this activity then why not try the 100 square jigsaw puzzle on Enrich. I have added the link below but I'll also add it to the blog. It's an interactive tool that you can use to try and recreate the 100 square. Well done on your maths children. Give yourselves a fantastic and I hope to see you soon.